flaca, alpha pyrolidino level pentiophenone is an extremely potent synthetic stimulant street drug capable of rotting and killing human tissue by causing Stevens-Johnson syndrome with toxic epidermal necrolysis as a complication, as well as resulting in death from overdose, comorbidities, and other use-related injuries. Image 1. Man with characteristic lesions of Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Image 2, Toxic Epidermal Necrolysis. Image 3, Healing Toxic Epidermal Necrolysis with Accompanying Stevens-Johnson Syndrome. Flaca Illustration. Alpha Pyro Idino Valero Pentiophenone, street name Flaca, is a highly addictive synthetic cathinone that inhibits norepinephrine and dopamine transmitters. Adverse reactions include excited delirium, hallucinations, increased libido, violent aggression, self injury, high blood pressure, hyponatremia, mania, nausea, paranoia, panic attacks and tachycardia, whose behavioral and physical adverse consequences are causative of morbidity and mortality. Severe cases may result in epilepsy, peripheral organ damage, and rhabdomyolysis. Cathionine is derived from the plant cat, cathedulis, having a potent stimulant effect similar to amphetamine. Flaca is pronounced using the soft A vowel sound as in the Spanish word flaca, referring to a thin woman. A stimulated metabolism would result in a level of activity that would certainly render a woman thin or flaca. Flaca is a white or pink illicit drug abused by oral ingestion and parenterally by smoking, injection, snorting, and vaporization via e-cigarette vape devices. Stevens-Johnson syndrome is a severe form of erythema multiforme, a respiratory prodome of mucotaneous and subsequent colonic, genital, and or nasal issues, as well as skin macules, necrosis, hemorrhagic crusts, ocular lesions, and perforations occur. Cardiac, gastrointestinal, renal, and lung complications occur, also causative of morbidity and mortality. Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Image 4. Mucosal desquamation in a person with Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Image 5. Inflammation and peeling of the lips with sores presenting on the tongue and mucous membranes in a patient with Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Image 6. Conjunctivitis with Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Toxic epidermal necrolysis is an exfoliative skin disease reaction from factors such as specific drug exposure, infection, chemical exposure, graft host reaction, or neoplastic disease. Epidermal necrosis with subepidermal separation, bulla formation, dermal inflammation, epidermal loss, as well as a raw, scalded skin appearance occur. Toxic epidermal necrolysis, TEN, and Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, are in the same disease spectrum, presenting with a corresponding similar appearance. An overlap between Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis has been observed after flaca abuse. The characteristic severe histological and cosmetic alterations presented attributable to flaca use are the focus of this presentation. Toxic epidermal necrolysis. Image 7. Emerging blisters on day 4 of an instance of toxic epidermal necrolysis on day 3 of condition.
Image 8, the back of a toxic epidermal necrolysis patient on day 10 at the peak of the condition. Image 9, toxic epidermal necrolysis of legs. Image 10, confluent epidermal necrosis, very high magnification micrograph of confluent epidermal necrosis. Skin biopsy, H&E stain. Confluent epidermal necrosis is seen in the context of erythema multiforme. Stevens-Johnson syndrome, and toxic epidermal necrolysis. SJS and TEN are generally considered to be on a spectrum and usually due to medications. EM is histomorphologically indistinguishable from SJS-TEN. It is usually due to an infection. Histomorphologic features, a basket weave type stratum corneum, indicative of the acuity, epidermal necrosis, Separation of the dermis and dermis. Minimal inflammation. Image 11. Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrologist pathogenesis and clinical findings. Pause text for detailed study. Image 12, common drugs implicated in the pathogenesis of SJS and TEN. Common drug triggers of SJS and TEN, antiepileptics, antibiotics. Amotrogen, TMP, SMX, phenytoin, amino penicillins, carbamazepine, tetracyclines, valproic acid, cephalosporins, phenobarbital, immune checkpoint inhibitors, NSAIDs, volumab, allopurinol, pembrolizumab, nevirapine. Separate note, the illicit drug FLAPCA is also a SJSTEN trigger. Image 13, differential diagnosis of suspected SJSTEN. Erythema multiforme major, pemphigus vulgaris, staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome, bullous pemphigoid, generalized fixed drug eruptions, linear IgA bullous dermatosis, acute generalized exanthemous pustulosis, paraneoplastic pemphigus, phototoxic eruptions, acute or subacute cutaneous lupus with epidermal necrosis, Rowell syndrome. Image 14, distinguishing characteristics of SJSTEN and erythema multiforme. SJSTEN versus EM, SJSTEN and EM. Characteristic lesions, atypical target lesions, macules with central clearing and two poorly demarcated components. Typical target lesions, papules with a dark center and three well demarcated concentric components large sheets of painful disquamation and later lesions. Distribution typically begins on the face and trunk with centrifugal spread. Face and acral skin, rare involvement of trunk. Triggers, specific drugs, virus infection, most commonly herpes simplex virus and mycoplasma pneumonia. Mucosal involvement, very common, most cases have involvement of greater than or equal to two mucosal surfaces. Rare, typically only one mucosal surface involved at present. Recurrence, 
rarely seen with removal and avoidance of causative drug. Frequently seen. Histopathology, early stage. Basal layer liquefaction with vacuolar interface changes, scattered necrotic keratinocytes, and interface lymphocytes. Late stage. Subepidermal split with thickness epidermal necrosis. Biopsy in the late stages of SJSTEN may show comparatively little inflammation compared to EM. New presentations coming soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you, subscribers.